Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio today. We've been looking at Psalm 89 for the last two weeks. Last week we did part one through verse 26, and all this week we've been doing verse 27 through 52 to finish out the second half of the psalm. If you were to read this psalm, just the first 26 verses, you would probably think that the psalmist was a pretty merry guy. His language in the first half is beautiful. It extols God's person and virtue, his holiness, his power, his care for his people. That's the view from his point of view in the first half. And if you just read the first 26 verses, you would think, wow, this is a great psalm because you know, the Lord and his person is extolled by the psalmist. But then we come to the second half of the psalm, and that's not so much the case. Now the psalmist here in beginning of verse 38 says, But you've cast us off. You've abhorred us. You're mad. You're angry with your anointed ones. That is, the people that follow him, that follow the Lord. And he gives us recitation of judgment that we can look in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and find the whole thing right there, just as he records it for us here. And then we come today to verse 46. And in verse 46, we have this plaintive cry of the psalmist. And it's a cry that we've seen over and over again in the Psalter. How long, Lord? How long? Let me read it for you, Verse beginning of verse 46. I'm just going to read three verses today. 46, 47, and 48. How long, Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. Well, this is plaintive and it's personable. It's you, you can feel the psalmist's heart. You can taste his anxiousness as he makes this prayer. How long, Lord, will you hide yourself forever? We've seen those very words before. And it's a, a language of prayer that we ourselves might even pray. We're expiring under the judgment of God. We're feeling the weight of his judgment. Or perhaps of our condition may not be the judgment of God. It just may be the suffering that we're enduring at the moment. And we pray this prayer, how long? How long does this have to go on? How long will your anger towards me burn like fire? And of course, we can understand that kind of language here from the psalmist. Remember how short my time is. That is, remember now David, we saw this back in the first book of the Psalter. David's language was so much like this. He would say, you know, I, no, I'm not going to be able to praise you in the grave. So if you're going to do something good for me, do it now before my time is up. And that's exactly what uh, Ethan is doing right here in this psalm. Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? That is, why have you made us to expire so quickly? Our lives are vain. They're empty compared to you. So if you're going to do something good, Lord, i.e., you know, let's do it now. What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Boy, that's a good question, isn't it? You realize, of course, don't you, that you will die. You're not going to live forever. Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? No one can deliver himself from the hand of the grave. Only one did that, and that was Christ Jesus. He was raised by the power of God. So, what about you? You can't deliver yourself from the power of the grave. You will see death. So, under those circumstances, then, what is your response to the goodness and mercy of God? Because you see, all of this, the covenant that he creates, the covenant that he keeps, and the judgment that we are under because we break covenant, must lead us to a conclusion that God himself is faithful. Call on him today and ask him to save your soul and to pardon your iniquity. I hope you'll join me tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.